Amuzan Cobb is looking to swarm the competition so that they can be victorious. Let's talk about it. Hello there everyone, it's me, Celtic, your Smite Professor, here today to talk about the basics on how to both play and build Amuzan Cobb within Smite. Let's touch on abilities. So for Amuzan Cobb's passive, we have this damage over time effect called Bees. Amuzan Cobb's second, third, and ultimate ability all are going to apply bees to the target. Now, what's special about bees is as long as you are hitting the target with auto attacks, the bees damage over time effect is going to extend and you're going to keep getting that little extra bit of damage on that person. Amuzan Cobb's first ability is Hive. He places down this hive on the ground. Now, this hive has a bunch of benefits to Amuzan Cobb. First, it's an attack speed steroid as long as you are within the giant radius. Second, it heals Amuzan Cobb for a flat amount for as long as he is within the radius of the hive. Third, it acts as a ward. Fourth, it increases Amuzan Cobb's movement speed. Now, Amuzan Cobb's second ability is a line attack, and it's just this giant swarm of bees. Anything hit by this attack is going to take damage and have Amuzan Cobb's passive applied to deal that damage over time effect I was talking about. Now, for Amuzan Cobb's third ability, we have Honey. Basically, it's this line attack where after you release or activate this ability, you get to control where this line of honey goes. Now, there's a lot of interesting things here. First, anything that walks on the honey is going to be slowed. That is the base of this ability. If any inch of this honey is within a hive's radius, this whole strip of honey that you lay out is going to be infected with bees. If the honey is infested with bees, all enemies that walk on the honey are also going to take damage over time so long as they are walking on the, on the honey carpet. Now, if the bees are infesting the honey and the opponent that you are targeting with the honey walks off of the honey carpet or when it expires, at that point, the bees passive is going to be applied to the target. The final thing I should note is if you whiff and you do not put the honey inside of the hive radius, you can also activate the bees damage over time effect or the swarm effect on the honey by throwing your two overneath, overneath, on top of the honey. For Amuzan Cobb's ultimate ability, we have a very narrow line attack called Stinger. This Stinger is going to launch forth and attach itself to the first enemy god hit. The enemy god that is hit is going to be crippled for three seconds. Now, when the target that you are stinging dies, or after four, three seconds, this stinger is going to land on the ground where it is retrievable for four seconds. If you retrieve the stinger, this ultimate receives 80% cooldown reduction. So now that we understand the basics of what the abilities do, this is the build that I recommend for Amuzan Cobb. Much to no one's surprise, it's just the Silver Branch Bow build that's very meta for hunters right now. Obviously, like Amuzan Cobb is going to like attack speed. He is considered a late game hyper carry kind of character. His early game isn't great. Uh, but that being said, he's very easy to dive. He's not very safe. Let's talk about a couple things that you can do. Now, Obviously, the Stinger can be used as an offensive or a defensive weapon. If that annoying Kukulin is diving you, you can sting him and then you can reposition while he's crippled. You can sacrifice getting the 80% cooldown reduction for your life. That's okay. Now, further to this, use Honey defensively. Yes, it's a pretty decent poking tool, but you know what's better in late game team fights? Surviving. So, what I recommend is as you are in your network of little hives, you are going to be able to place down honey at your feet and extend it out in a line in the direction that you are going to run to. This way, anyone that is looking to dive you, be it the assassin or the warrior, is going to take damage over time, and they're going to be slowed, giving you the ability to reposition, maybe get peeled, burst them down with your autos, all the good things that can come by playing a little bit more defensively. Now that's really all the time I have to talk about Amuzan Cobb. If you enjoyed, subscribe to this channel. I do this kind of stuff all the time. Now, from there, if you want to keep learning Smite with me right now, click this video on your screen. I'll be there to explain it. Otherwise, have yourselves a casual day, and I will see you in the next video. Take care.